here we have seen some examples with axillaries. Now without axillaries, see here the sun rises in the east. The sun is the subject rises, that is the verb. Verb plus yes. Rise rises. Here what is absent? Axillary is not given. Main verb only. So in that case we want to follow the rules. That is subject singular plus present tense. Subject singular plus present tense we want to use thus. When we want to use thus, subject singular plus present tense. Next, subject plural plus present tense we want to use do. Next, subject may be singular or plural. With the past tense comes we want to add that is did. Okay. So, when we want to apply this rule, when axillary is absent, without axillary. Now, see the question, the sun rises in the east. Absent, positive statement or negative statement? Positive statement. Okay, so, see that subject is singular or plural? Singular. Next, rises, we will go with yes, that is. Subject singular plus present tense. What is that? Does. So, what will be the answer? Positive tab, this one, given positive. So, we want to use what? Negative. We want to use negative. So, here, we want, as it is, the sun rises in the east, comma. Next one is the does. So, positive statement, negative tab. Doesn't. Doesn't. It. Question mark. So, this is the tab. Second one, we will see. Come on, read this question. Reverse flow towards the sea. Reverse flow towards the sea. See here, reverse. Next one is that flow, verb, subject, verb. Reverse subject, verb. There is no axillary. Flow towards the sea. So, here there is no axillary. And also here it is given reverse. So, this one is what? Plural. It takes plural. And then next what is that? Axillary accent, present tense. So we want to use do. Towards the same. Given statement positive or negative? Positive. So reverse flow towards the same. Come on. Next there is verb. And also the subject plural. So plural plus present tense do. Positive. So we want to write negative state. That is tab. Don't. Reverse so they be achieved. So this is the answer. Remember that next to do this uh, don't you must use a small letter only. Don't use capital letter. Next you see Sachin broke the world record. Her name that is Sachin. You know that singular. Break, broke. So this one is past tense. Subject singular or plural makes past tense did. So what will be the answer? Sachin broke the old record. Uh -huh. Past tense what is that? Did. This given statement also positive. So it takes what? A negative tag. So didn't. Didn't he push it. So children we have seen the statement without axillaries. Before we have seen with axillaries. Here without axillaries we want to follow. Next, we come to next statement using as, have, had, as axillaries. Has, this one is singular. Next, this one is plural. This one did had past tense. Now, see some examples. Come on, read this. The bell has run. Now, here the bell has run. Next one is verb. So, what will be the answer? Positive or negative? Positive. So, what is the answer in here? As. As negative tab. As in it. Question mark. Here, the flowers. Plural. So, have. So, this also statement given positive. What is the tab? Negative. Haven't. Haven't. They. Now come to the next one. They had a party. They had 
A. Plural. Had. Ancillary. Given statement. Positive. So come on. They had a pass. Parking last night. Hadn't. M comma. They hadn't. They. Question mark. Hadn't they. Question mark. Okay children. So far we have seen as have had as ancillaries. Now come to the next one. Statement using as have had as main verb. Here we have seen ancillaries. It replaces as ancillaries. Here we can see as have had place as a main verb. See some example. A tiger has shown class. So here there is no ancillary. This ancillary has uh, place as main verb. And also what is the condition? Subject singular. Ancillary absent means we want to follow this. So subject here singular. A tiger has shown class. So what is that? As a tiger singular. Next one, what is that? Does positive or negative? Positive statement. That is, does it? Does it? Eight question mark. Next, Indians have great respect for traditions. Here, there is no ancillary. This have as place as a main verb. Next, is it great respect? So, Indians. They positive statement. So have it. That is ancillary. Uh, often we use to come like this only. That. Yeah, ancillary have, but there is no main verb. So it plays as main verb. So Indians. That is plural. Next one is present tense. Great respect. See that. So what will be that? Don't positive statement. Don't. They question mark. Don't they question mark. Okay. So Indians we are using plural they. So remember have but here it plays as main verb. So we should not use have haven't. Instead of that we want to use do. Positive statement don't. Come to the next one. Little Rosie had fever. Okay, so here also this add ancillary only, but there is no main verb. So add plays a main verb. So little Rosie had, we should not write had. Why? What is the reason? Before itself I told ancillary only, but main verb here. Okay. So what will be there? This rule we want to follow. So remember, little Rosie, that is subject name. So what we want to use? Did. Yes, remember that. Immediately don't come. Say this difference. Positive or negative? Positive. So negative. Didn't little Rosie. Didn't she? Question mark. So children, clear this. Here as have had place as ancillaries. So we are using as as in the have have in the had and had it. But here see the difference. As have had place as main verb. So as that is singular. So thus we are using have plural. That is don't do. We are using had past tense did we are using. Since children now see we will see statements having negative words. Some negative words. Okay. No, none, never, not, neither, nor, nothing, little, few, scarcely, only, rarely. So these are the negative in a statement, these words comes, it takes what a positive term. One example, see, few. So, few is the negative word here. Few plants can be seen. So, what will be the plan? Given statement is negative. Few is negative. So, here what is the actual present can? So, what will be that? Given statement, negative. So, can, can, they, question mark. Can they, question mark. Now next one saying my father never, never is the negative word. Smokes and present tense that is given. So what is that? Given statement negative, we want to write positive. Here there is no ancillary. So what will be the subject is singular plus present tense. That is does here negative, so does he question mark. Okay, like this negative words. Now we will see. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, few. If the statement comes, 
it takes what positive term that is positive statement take negative term see here yeah little so this one is what yeah little positive here little negative so negative term so what will be the answer axillary is present so is it is it it remember that yeah little yeah give positive so negative term we want to use now shall be yeah we use this term let us nouns means we want to use shall be let us go for a walk see here remember let us nouns means shall be okay shall be the statement let us go for a walk this is the statement let us nouns remember shall be we want to use simple request remember simple request will you see here pass me the book come with me these are the simple request so what will be the will you use the simple request we want to use will you question mark next one come with me will you question mark okay these are the tags okay next one urgent request send the email immediately urgent request we want to use that is won't you send the email come on won't you won't you question mark next catch this way so this also urgent request so what we want to use won't you won't you question mark this tag we want to use so for urgent request won't you simple request will you now come to impatient remarks for example keep quiet listen to me like this we want to use can't you so keep quiet come on can't you can't you question mark next listen to me can't you can't you question mark okay let like this tag we want to find. next you remember statement using these words each everybody someone somebody anyone anybody no one nobody it takes what plural form they and also here no one nobody this is negative word this word comes in the statement we want to use positive tag negative word positive tag some examples see here i have given no one here the price no one actually this one take the, the plural form they but this one is not the negative so we want to use what positive here that is past tense subject plural plus past tense so what is that did did they question mark did they question mark here here past tense this one they takes it and no one they form plural form given the na positive that is negative so positive statement we want to take see here everyone this one takes what plural form they here likes present tense so what will be the answer present subject plural plus present tense subject plural already we have seen what subject singular or plural here subject plural plus present tense that is we want to write do given statement positive or negative positive so in comma don't they question mark don't they question mark. next one everybody is everybody it takes what form plural form here actually present given statement positive so comma isn't isn't is it correct because we can remember here they is here they so before they or what do we want to use and also this one is positive so aren't they question mark see children everybody that is plural axillary is is given but before they we want to use or only positive statements or negative word we are using aren't anybody will take up the challenge here see anybody this takes what plural form they will so here we want to use what that will 
Won't passive statement. Won't they question mark? Won't they question mark? Will take up the challenge. Given statement positive, so negative won't. And plural form anybody they. So we are using. One thing we want to remember before that is it takes plural form. After that we want to use what or aren't, aren't they, or they. Next to that, that they, that they. Did, did they, didn't they. We should not use is, was before that they form of plural form text. So remember this. Okay, children. So far we have seen uh, question tag with tag sorry, without tag sorry, positive tag text, negative, negative tag text, positive, some negative words we have seen. And also anybody, everybody, it takes what a plural form. So and also that rules subject singular plus present tense does. Subject plural plus present tense do. Subject may be singular or plural with past tense did. So you remember this, apply this wherever, uh, just go through and find out and apply. We will see in the next class. Thank you.